one has to ask oneself, do the other people experience the West as incarnation of human rights? It is true that uh, um, the West has at one point presented itself as uh, a really embodiment of universality, universality of uh, its own political institutions, universality of modern science, which is a fact, uh, universality of human rights, etc., and uh, decided that it had some kind of civilizing mission to exercise in the rest of the world. Uh, and then Bandung happened. Bandung is this 1955 uh, uh, meeting in the city of Indonesia that Bandung was, where uh, already independent countries and yet to be independent countries uh, met and reaffirmed the principle that there is no reason whatsoever for a given uh, uh, country or a given civilization or a given culture to pretend that they have the right to colonize other people. And that was, that meant also philosophically the end of a certain form of universalism incarnated by Europe. It meant that universal, universal could not be just uh, uh, something that would come from above, and above meaning the West, teaching the rest of the world about universality and asking the rest of the world to align themselves behind the universality represented by the West. Because when the West says that it is an incarnation of the universality of human rights, one has to ask oneself, do the other people experience the West as incarnation of human rights? In fact, what is the experience that colonized people have of Western colonization? Did they see the universal uh, and the generosity of logic and rationality and respect for human life come into their country? Or did they see someone who exported brutality outside and pretended to be the incarnation of civility inside its own borders? So universality was questioned, rightly questioned, and we are at a time where we have to invent a new horizon of universality, not the universality coming from above, from a West dictating to the rest of the world uh, how universal it is and why the rest of the world should align itself on its universality, but a universality that would be a universality of negotiation. So the um, pretension to be uh, the incarnation of the universal is de facto uh, uh, an exclusion of, of, of other. It looks like uh, it is a competition for uh, the representation of the universal and, uh, and not an inclusive consideration of what universality should truly be.